Black content creators are cooked. Shit, that just so happens. I am a black content creator. Chat, am I cooked? Black content my cooked ten on the internet has become so pervasive that it's gotten its own title its own cat pervasive category and sometimes it can produce some very good things with very knowledgeable people with you know very good insights but oftentimes Knowledge. with the way that it's viewed today it breeds Insight. nothing but disgust what's going on everybody look we've got to get into the meat and the potato truly on this channel about black content and how it's destroying people of course we're talking about destroying destroying Oddly enough, there's a guy, there's a black content creator named Destroying, and he makes the big content, I'm not gonna lie. The big football content, we might go watch that after this, thing. gonna lie. The public interviews, the 20v1, the sexualizing kids, the cash app scams, I don't know. Sexualizing kids? Wait, what? How these things can go on much longer. Especially with the hypersexualization, which is gonna bring me to our first stop. It's Deshae Frost. Now, most people don't know this, but Deshae Frost is an actual actor. When he was younger, he used to be in actual television shows and have actual roles. Really? I did not know that. Black Jesus? This... There's no way. It's a show called Black Jesus? Black Jesus TV series. Black Jesus is American live tele live action created by make nah, I gotta watch it. I gotta watch it fucking. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Glory be to God! What's happening, Fields? You forgot what today is, huh? Hey, Edna! What's up, y'all? Jesus coming back today. That's today? G-O-D! Hold it down! I know we got a plan from God to let us know what to do. Orlando, what's up? Hey, you owe me five dollars. Jesus! Peep it out. Pops wants us to go legit. <laughs> No more schemes, no more scams, man. He wants us to go out there and make some legit things. Back. Hi, Diane. You want a foot massage? Say that again. Jesus's church of Compton. And fish taco truck. Check it out. They wanna know how many bombs have I written with the red book and so it's never found. Oh, God. Did you just curse me? No, nah, not me. God. You are such <laughs> a fing ass looking like a big ass sack of potatoes. Dirty Bye. mother. You. I go away all the time and come back to this. Everybody. What? Adult Swim. Okay, that actually that that makes sense. Not gonna lie, that looks like something that that looks like something that would be on Adult Swim. He's on SWAT. Hard. You married that? Okay, okay, okay. So he got he got a nice little resume. Ain't gonna lie, he got a nice little resume. He so got that content, resume. the idea of being professional shouldn't be anything new to him. Yet when he's gotten into the streaming world, he's become everything but. To be honest, now I will say it is kudos to Deshae Frost for staying relevant for as long as he's stayed relevant. There are a lot Facts. of people who went from child acting to being adults and can't find any sort of foothold. No disrespect, but kind of like a Scott Jackson. So it's very credible to him that he's able to stay around, be in she some sort of this, public eye, mainstream media, and all that stuff. So a round of applause for Deshae Frost. However, if it means that he's gonna do things like this then i think that we have to maybe talk about him a little bit closer hey yo all right come on turn, turn the camera on me now i don't even know how much of these streams and content clips that i can really put out there because honestly it's nothing but pornography like it is the most soft core pornography that you can possibly get and he is pushing twitch streaming kick streaming and all these that was other a, platforms that was on youtube to its full Did you stream on YouTube? <laughs> what are you streaming on, brother? But I'm curious. What are you? What are you what's your? What's your platform of choice, brother? Oh my God! I gotta run through eight different things, bro. Do 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 do. You must be 18 plus to view this content. Okay, that's definitely not the website I wanted to be on. Okay, Deshay. Live. Oh, what do you know? It is on Twitch. 
Intriguing. Intriguing. Interesting. Interesting. Everybody talking about this bad news about 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 cake about cake, right? Nobody nobody really talking about too much. Okay, okay. I see. I see. Boundary. This. There's not even any entertainment in this. He's what not being doing? subtle. Honestly, some would even say it looks like he's crashing out. To be honest with you, who thinks it's a good idea to get head on stream? I'm Ruby Heat. Ruby. That's your first name, like all together. Ruby Heat. That's my stage name. Caitlyn. Like the right son. Caitlyn. Caitlyn. Okay, Bryson and Caitlyn Can we see your toes real quick? Can you, are your shoes disgusting. and all your little That's ass disgusting. Things, you know and don't get me wrong, sex is good, but it's not kind. Quick, can you, are you. Caitlyn. Caitlyn. Okay, Bryson and Caitlyn Can we see your toes real quick? Can you, are your shoes and all your little ass That's disgusting. Things, you know and don't get me wrong, sex is good, but it's not content on these public platforms where a lot of children can consume. But the thing is, like, bro, if you wanna, if you, if you wanna just like fuck on, there's, there's websites for that. I don't. Why are we, why are we going on, like, kick and freaking Twitch, and just, and just getting nasty. You know what I'm saying? Bro, there's literally a website you can go and stream live corn. You know what I'm saying? You know, you could you could do that, and, you, and people can gotta be 18 and plus to sign up, my guy. You know what I'm saying? Any um, knucklehead with a freaking brain can make a Twitch account, my guy. Why why are you bringing that stuff to here? You know what I'm saying? There's website. You know what I'm saying? There's OnlyFans. I don't know if you can go live on OnlyFans, but hey, you know what I'm saying? That's a lane. If you want to take that lane, go good for you, my guy. Go and do that. Why why are you biting me? What's your what's the beef? What's the beef? Is that content? Does, do all cats just bite their owners, or my is my cat especially like you know? I'm just a special case over here to my sock. Start an OnlyFans, start a Patreon, maybe put it behind some sort of a paywall or something That's what like I'm that. Saying. This is not something that one we should deem as just content, and two that kids should be consuming. And I do kind of start to hate the notion of oh well, adults should be able to watch what their kids are doing. But when we do stuff like this, we have to hold people accountable. And I wish it was a one-off, but no, he's done this several times on his stream. I saw this oh. one, like that's just oh, why I ain't gonna lie. She Bro, chasing keep, my shit. We gotta talk about putting... why these platforms aren't taking this more seriously. I guess because there's nothing really explicit there, but I will say there was one stream where there was a nipple actually shown, but it's kind of clear what he's doing here. And even if there was some sort of warning ban or whatever the case may be for what's going on with the shade right now, I don't think anybody would have any problems with him getting suspended and not being on here. Nobody's trying to see him get head on the platform. And if you are, go to Cornhub, dog. And this is getting to the point where other content creators are calling him out on his actions and his behaviors. We saw Bruce drop him off, call him a C-O-O-N on his Twitter account and goes on to say, if you gotta use sex or hypersexual towards women to make niggas laugh on stream, quit streaming. You suck. And I'm so serious. <laughs> Fight me about it. Now, I don't think that you have to be the most religious streamer. Bro, I mess with Bruce. I ain't gonna lie. Cause that nigga, he's gonna say whatever's on his mind. You know what I'm saying? And whatever's on his mind might not be the best thing to say, bro, but he's gonna say it. You know what I'm saying, bro? always educational or whatever the case may be but shock value streamers and content creators to me aren't real content creators or streamers people aren't really looking for you they aren't looking for your personality your insight your wisdom your comedy whatever you have to offer other than seeing you put yourself in embarrassing life-threatening hypersexual situations and so when Deshae Thanks. responds to these things because these accusations have a lot of merit from Bruce drop him off which I'm glad somebody's calling him out he can only point to other things in his explanation that quite frankly have nothing to do with what we're talking about here you're trying to fucking get and go at every streamer dude and that shit is not working you try to do xqc with the fucking watch shit you're tweaking out bro put down the perks but real shit though bro you might want to chill out bro we're both in atlanta bro it seems like you're just talk bro like i'm not even gonna lie you're you're just talk we, we seen you try to try to rekindle everything bro you're in this shit by yourself brother you're getting passed around like what are these hoes i'm not gonna lie and keep paying for that asian girl make you ham sandwiches and white rice okay and so i thought about it does the shay have any merit in what he's saying but that thought really only lasted for 2.5 seconds uh -huh. first and foremost most Bruce drop him off has been doing this well longer than you have we're talking about streaming and content creating on the internet granted you were an actor when you were a child but this is a whole different lane two you didn't address anything that was said and it's not just being said about him people on the internet are starting to catch on to what you're doing you using your YouTube to sexualize your sister with videos about her having a BBL and my mom must be stopped blurring out her images and stuff like that alluding to the fact that there's something x-rated underneath this using your family in order to get views by sexualizing them is the 
sign of somebody who is totally weird and out of touch with what normal people like to see. Him starting to make his channel into a pseudo OnlyFans platform by bringing these corn stars and having them do sexualized things on it, just it can only be described as weird. Bite it? Yeah. I'll bite that motherfucker. And I told you to bite it, so bite it. Ah! Why are you taking so long? Ah! That bitch tastes good. And while the shape's like weird, I feel like that's not bad. But the head, the head on stream is crazy. Not gonna lie, the head on stream is od crazy, bro. We're talking about black content as a whole. So when I see clips on TikTok of a guy named David doing a charity auction where they're bidding on girls, which is very reminiscent of slavery, I again have to question: Why are we doing these things in 2024, specifically as black people? What time? And while I get it that that's a normal traditional thing I was gonna say, I feel college, like that's, that's getting on dates and stuff like that in order to raise money and awareness towards some good deed or whatever the case may be. It's never sat right to me when black people did it, participated in it, or any type of thing, whether it was the bidder, whether it was the person being auctioned, or any combination of those things. Only I don't know about that. I mean, I was saying, if you're doing something, anything to raise money for like, uh, you know what I'm saying, for like the less fortunate, it's always like, I always feel like that's positive you know what i'm saying i don't know where he's going off about right now because of what we've experienced in the past when it comes to slavery this is very disgusting black people shouldn't be auctioned out no way shape form or fashion i don't care who you're giving mm. the money to there has to be a different way in order to raise money and awareness and now the fact that people yeah, are putting this on the platforms is just disgusting now if you didn't think that that was very slavery coded or reminiscent of it these 20 v ones have to be close to it I, I kid you not especially when they bring these rappers on here or even hell these kids on here and get real disrespectful or weird with the women it just doesn't sit right with me introduce the first female man let's do it hi i'm tristetta yeah i'm from haiti, from haiti? yeah let me get three sister real quick <laughs> <laughs> you know I gotta start it all right, girl. Now, mind you, she's saying, I don't know why you're doing yes or no at his age, but she's the one going on the show knowing that little Tyler is gonna be on the show. Now, little does Tyler. I excuse little Tyler for sexualizing her? No, I think that this whole experience is weird. But the age thing is very strange because, like I said earlier, they've even brought kids on their platform before to do the same thing in Little RT. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. We're sitting here having this little kid auction off his mother in order for other people to become the suitor of her. If I have to sit here and explain what's wrong with that, and when we go on these people's channels, it's three different channels, all the same thumbnail style, all in that white room. Some of them even do it on the same exact day. And we talked about on this channel how these things can be more sexually charged with each and every passing, because the one that JP did was so disgusting. But the only thing that I could think that becomes more disgusting and more cringe than that is the public interview and i've always hated public interviews because these people aren't even asking to be bothered get that hot dudes walking up to them, that asking them a simple question because i know that's how they draw them in and then turning it into this whole weird engagement Girl, you know you want to talk look at you smiling and shit with that cute ass smile yo back up you too close no listen nah 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 I've been taking too many L's, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, please. Now, I'm not gonna lie, when I was younger, I got <laughs> suspended out of school for something just like that, where I walked up on a young woman and- Come on, please. Yo, that what did he say? When I was younger, I got- oh. I've been taking way too, but that's like that, that's like that speed clip where he was like, if we're the last person, if I'm, if me and you are the last people on earth, uh, will you help me, we probably like the earth. And they get the nigga said, "Who gonna stop me?" <laughs> nigga said, "Who gonna stop me?" I'm getting the same energy, my guy. That's just weird. They go like, "This is a weird thing to say, my guy." Just cause like most women, like I don't, I, at least that I've talked to, you know what I'm saying? They got low key, they got a fear of being like, you know what I'm saying? Like. Assaulted, uh, uh, um, traffic. You know what I'm saying, bro? It's it's that legit fear, which is which is understandable. You know what I'm saying? It's living in the world. We live in the fucking world we live in. So like, why would you like put someone in that situation where that PTSD? Like, you just you just, you just give them to start freaking out like that, right? You know, back the fuck up before I smack you. you ain't gonna lie. Nah, listen. Nah, nah, nah. nah Imagine nah. this somebody's girl though. Imagine somebody's girl. Yo, you, you push up my girl and she said back up. 
And you ain't back up? Oh, I'm gonna I'm have to crash out now. You know what I'm saying? I'm taking too many L's. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, please. Now, I'm not gonna lie. When I was younger, I got suspended up. out of school for something just like that. Where I the come on, please is crazy. Fucked up on a young woman like, and damn, kind of got in her ear. It was a crazy time. I was young, Omar. I didn't know any better. But seeing that now with my adult brain, my fully formed brain, I can see why that's wrong. And I can see that it's disgusting. Especially because she told him to back up. The thing that's the exactly. most interesting to me in all these pieces of content is the simple fact that everything has to be made sexual. Nothing about these public interviews, smasher passes, 20v1s, whatever the case may be, can be done without some sort of sexualization in it. I'm here with today. Yeah. Are you today? Well, and she ain't got no... Could you is that a belt hand? for a... What is we doing? That's an outfit. Ain't gonna lie. In your pants and let me smell your balls. Nah. Nah, no way he did it. Nah. Yo, bro, you gotta move your cam, bro. Ain't gonna I'm not trying to move my camera, broski. You keep moving your I was you supposed to be you supposed to be over here. Like this 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 is why I move over here, cause you normally over here, my guy. I purposely put my cam over here for a reason, bro. I'm not moving either, bro. I ain't gonna lie. you just you know what I'm saying? This is that's crazy though. Ultimately, what's the long game for these content creators? When you're doing know. stuff like this for the shock value, I don't even know her name. I don't know any of these people's names who are getting sexualized. Of course, they'll flash their Instagram handles or whatever the case may be, but who does things like this and do you think that they're gonna stick around? Are you gonna continue to make this content in your 20s, throughout your 20s, into your 30s and 40s? You need a job for tomorrow. And also, if you think that you can blow up to be the heights of the content creators that you look at and strive to be the Kai Sinats or, you know, the DDGs or the agents of the Duke Dennis's of the world, there's no way that you can go down this original path and then think that you can fumble that into stuff like a Fortnite deal or a branding sponsorship with Nike based off of this being your path. I don't even think that they're getting good content creation etiquette when they do things like this because there's no complex editing. There's no thing about thumbnails because they're all the same. Hell, even their basic audio setups are fucked up in these clips. So they're not getting any <laughs> practical experience out of this. They're just doing this for shock value to have their name slung across the internet. A couple of Instagram likes for value validation, maybe some shock value views, but their CPMs and RPMs are in the fucking floor. They're not getting the proper traffic. The women are getting objectified. The men are being disgusting. There's no longevity in these things that makes people say, you know what? This is a full on career path. And I know that there's a graphic out there that says how many kids want to become content creators when they grow up. But I'm here to tell you that that is not the way to go about doing it. That's not true content. This is borderline pornography, sicko behavior and stuff that'll only get you remembered as being some sort of object piece for people to laugh and point fingers at. If you're gonna look for creativity and become a content creator, look at Kai Sinat. Please don't look at these people on these channels. Let me know what you guys think though. Is black content in the dirt? Shout out some names. I feel like names of some good black content creators while you're down in the comments because we need a palette cleanse ASAP. Yeah, what's some good black what's some good black black Kai? Oh my god, I keep saying black and Kai, but Kai is also black, you know what I'm saying? I need some, you know what I'm saying? Bleezy, Corey, Taishi, Sky Jackson. Why Kai, why Sky Jackson catch a catch a, catch a straight though? That's the that's the that's a that was a crazy straight. She over there just minding her own business. She said, we said boom, Sky. Boom, Sky Jackson. Nah, hold up, I'm taking too many else. It's crazy, not gonna lie. Literally though. Literally though. The girl smelling the balls. <laughs> yeah, that that was also insane, I ain't gonna lie.